Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to get sound controls working on an external monitor using the DisplayPort connection and control the brightness with a free app. The app will allow you to use volume keys on the keyboard and control the volume with the slider in the main menu. You can also adjust the screen brightness. I've got a Mac Studio connected to an ASUS 42 inch HDR OLED. As you can see there's no way to control the volume or the screen brightness. There's an app named Monitor Control that solves this problem. I'll show you how to set it up right now. Use the link in the description to get monitor control. If you scroll down to the bottom, get the latest monitor control. This one's version 4.10. Download the DMG file. Run the installer. Drag monitor control into the applications folder. Close the window. And then we want to go down to launchpad. Type in monitor control. Load that. Press open. And then we're going to need to give it some permissions. So open system preferences. And then click on the padlock, use your password. And then tick monitor control. Close that now. Start using monitor control. And now I've got volume keys. I can control everything from this little light thing up here. So I can control the brightness of the screen. So it gets darker and brighter. And then I can also control the volume and you can check for updates to make sure there's new versions out. And that's it. That's the easiest way to do it. And when the install is complete, just make sure you go up, eject the monitor control there. And also I'll delete it from my downloads folder. One other little thing we should look at is go up to the icon, go to preferences. And here it allows you to set custom options. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have sync brightness changes from built-in Apple displays enabled. So basically when it goes into night mode, it should start darkening it. So I want that on application. Also, I want to have start at login and you can customize it as you want. I'm going to leave the rest of these on default because it does what I want. If you have any issues, you could probably try uh, take it, turning these on and off, but I haven't had any issues with it so far. You've also got advanced settings down here. I'm not going to mess with these because I'm quite happy leaving them exactly as they are. And that's about all you need to know. If you found this video helpful, please leave a comment below, hit that like button and smash that subscribe. Or if you didn't like it, hit that dislike twice and thanks for watching.